let's push our application up to Heroku. So hopefully, as we talked about before, you have the Heroku command line tools with you. And whatever version you've got is fine. And if this is the first time you've done it, you'll need to run the Heroku login command, which is just Heroku login. And that'll prompt you to enter your email and password. You only need to do that once. I've already done it, so I don't need to do that. But if you're just getting started, you will need to do that. And then we're down to our application specific stuff. So the first thing we want to do is tell Heroku that we're creating a new web application. And that's it, it's just Heroku create that sets up this app ready for us and we can now push some code to it. So the way we do that is we do a git push, it's just like a git push anywhere else, uh, except we're going to specify the target as Heroku master. So just from our local master branch up to the Heroku master and we will let that chug away. And once we've done this, we'll go back and we'll look through some of the things that Heroku is telling us is going on here. So we can see that Heroku detected it was a PHP app and began bootstrapping it. It gave us the PHP version that we asked for. It's given us both Apache and Nginx. You can use either. And then it went about installing the dependencies that we asked it to get. So it ran through our composer file and it'll do that without any dev dependencies and it'll do that automatically doing the quick auto load so all the things you would expect for production are automatically run when Heroku does that and so we've got our code on the system now so two more things to do first of all we need to give it a process because the way Heroku works is you push your code up and each app can have multiple instances. If you've got a big app with a lot of load, you probably want to put loads of basically virtual web servers behind it. And we just need to tell Heroku that we want one basic web server. And the way we do that is we just say Heroku process scale, which is PS scale. And we'll tell we would like one web server, please. That's all we're doing here is saying we'd like one virtual web server for this instance. Yeah, so that's up and running. It's just on the free tier, which is great. And then finally, this is the last command. You don't need this, but it's just a quick shortcut. If you type Heroku open, it will open a browser with the current app. Let's do that now. And there we go. This is a Hello World app running on Heroku. We've just got our first app up and running. So that's great. We've seen how the basics work in this lesson. We've been able to push an app up to Heroku, and now we can start doing things that are a little more interesting in future modules.